Hi, I'm Natika. Council will be spending around $85 million across our local government area this upcoming financial year. Last week, Andy showed you around Port Macquarie and today I'm in beautiful Warhope to show you a snapshot of the projects that were happening around this area. So come on, let's go. We are upgrading our water supply network from the Rosewood Reservoir to the Sandcrocks Reservoir behind me here to improve our water supply system for the area. Here we are downtown at Warhope and the transformation of the main street is nearly complete. We have new pedestrian crossings as well as footpaths and a number of outdoor eating areas that are available for our community. This has been absolutely fantastic for the Warhope community and has now enhanced the level of mobility and accessibility for this main street. We'll be getting started on the new Hastings Regional Sporting Complex, which is located behind me. This facility will boast a number of sporting and recreational facilities, as well as a children's playground and an off-leash dog park. This will be a space that the whole community can enjoy. We are continuing to upgrade our playgrounds across the region, including this one behind me at Rocks Ferry and just down the road at Reservoir Park. This is exciting news for families and children across the local area. We are continuing our unsealed maintenance program like here on Stony Creek Road. This is an important program as it increases the accessibility and safety for our rural communities. We are continuing the rehabilitation of the Bago Road from Blue Water Crescent all the way up to Millicans Road. This will significantly increase the safety for commuters upon this road as well as the lifespan of the road surface. We are continuing to roll out our sewerage scheme across Long Flat, Comboyne and Telegraph Point to protect the environment and the health of the local communities. Here in Telegraph Point, we are constructing 800 metres of a new footpath to go from Morse Lane all the way to Log Wharf Reserve. This is increasing the safety and mobility of pedestrians around the Telegraph Point area. And that's a snapshot of what's happening around the Warhope area for the next coming financial year. Next week we will be in the Camden Haven region, so stay tuned on our Facebook page, keep updated of what's happening around your local area and look at all the exciting projects that we have happening around our region.